Better Touch Tool. I would have sworn it used to cost over $40, but alas, it's currently listed at $21 for a lifetime subscription. That is just an incredible deal. Basically, what Better Touch Tool does is it allows the user to choose an input method, whether it be a trackpad gesture, touch bar button, magic mouse swipe, etc., and choose an automated action that is triggered by that input. I use Better Touch Tool for tiny little small changes. Things like force press top right corner of trackpad to activate Siri, or swipe in a specific triangle to open a new finder window. Let's check out my favorites. So once we have Better Touch Tools installed and open, you'll see its icon in your menu bar. If you click it and click on Configuration, it'll take us to the menu where we can create our own shortcuts. So the first thing we do is we choose what our input method is going to be. So for me, I'm doing trackpad, but there's plenty of other things like the magic mouse, keyboard shortcuts, a normal mouse, the Siri remote. So let's start with my most used. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to hit the plus and we're going to choose our trigger, which is going to be a three finger force click. So we go to force trackpad gestures and then we find three finger force click. Then we're going to choose our action. We hit the plus and what we want is keyboard illumination. So we can search for that. Keyboard illumination down. And we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it about 15 times. Now, I already have one made. Where is it? There it is. So I'm going to delete this new one, but I'll show you it in action. Three finger force click. This next one is to open any app that you want just by force clicking a corner of your trackpad, almost like giving your trackpad hot corners. If I force click bottom left, I get launchpad bottom right, find my launches. If I force click top left, I get my activity monitor. Top right, we're going to hit the plus to make a new one. We're going to choose our trigger, which is going to be force clicking again, but this time it's going to be a single finger click. Let's find that. Corner click top left, corner click top right. Once you choose your corner, then we're going to choose our action. We're going to hit this plus. And what we want is launch. So we're going to search launch, and then we choose launch application. And then right here, we can hit select app. And really, whatever you want. So for this last one, we're going to do a four finger tap to turn the brightness of the keyboard up one bump. And then we're going to do a four finger swipe down to turn the illumination of the keyboard all the way off. So the way we do that is we're going to hit the plus. We're going to choose a four finger gesture. And we're going to do four finger tap. And then we're going to choose the action that happens. So we can search keyboard. and we can do keyboard illumination up. So I have it already made, so I'm going to delete this one. But if I do a four finger tap, the keyboard brightness goes up one bump. Now I want it so that when I swipe four fingers down, the keyboard brightness goes all the way out. So I'm going to hit plus to make a new action. I want to go to four finger gestures. And I want four finger swipe down. And then I'm going to hit the plus here. I'm going to search keyboard. I'm going to choose keyboard illumination down. Make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to press command C to copy it and then command V about 15 times. And that's all you do. So yeah, what I showed in this video is just a tiny example of what's possible with better touch tool. You can see here the hundreds of different shortcuts you can create, and not just with the trackpad, with pretty much any sort of interface. 
So I hope you'll check it out. This video is not sponsored by Better Touch Tool in any way. I just genuinely love their software and think it's a worthwhile upgrade to anyone trying to trick out their system a little beyond what Apple currently allows. Thanks for watching.